Well, I could think of worse results uh, in that race than the one Yes had. Now, I think 53-3 and three may have been excessive. But uh, I was just letting the big colt go. He's feeling so good. I said to Lauren after we warmed him up, I said, this horse looks good and feels good. You know, when we got him back, you can always tell when a horse is kind of stressed out, not kind of doing their work well, they're making goofy mistakes, they're, they just don't feel confident, but they, they rarely look good, too. And he was a little tucked up and just he just looked stressed out. And now he's put extra weight back on. I told you guys last week when I raced him that he was good. He was just in a place where I was trying to protect him. But after the race, I'd said, I'd said to Jason, man, he feels good. And tonight is the best I felt in him in a long, long time. He loves beating up on horses. And, you know, around the last turn, I just kind of said, hey, and he was gone again. And he just... He's just a, a really, really nice horse, and it's nice to see him back. And, you know, it's important. I know you guys were, a lot of my, my partners on the horse were very frustrated. You know, he uh, qualified back at Flamborough. He looked okay, but was he all right? Then he came over to Northfield. He looked terrible. Then he went, we got him to the Meadows, and he, he looked terrible again. But he just didn't feel good. You know, and then when he went to Yonkers uh, with Irv, he won those three starts, but his last start, he didn't. The last win, he didn't look good, and then it was just a, a complete free-for-all. It's like he dropped off a cliff after that, and it was a real chore. You know, Irv uh, had a number of veterinarians look at him. And the, see, that's the problem, is that even myself, you get fixated on something. It's got to be this, it's got to be this, it's got to be this. And even with, with Irv, you know, a very experienced horseman and his veterinarians, it looks left-hind, it's got to be left-hind, it has to be all left-hind. But it's not all left-hind. You know, it was just a number of issues... Sometimes, you know, trying to piece together uh, a classy, talented trotter like that, it's like somebody took a, a jigsaw puzzle and dumped it on the table and turned the lights off. It just seems like one step forward, two steps back all the time with um, with trotters, and especially sometimes, but when you start to feel them get on that path, there's nothing feels better than that. And I guarantee you, the only thing happier than me right now is that horse. And, um, you know, Jason's done an incredible job. The veterinarian's done an incredible job. You know, we changed his shoes around a number of times, got them to where he felt okay, uh, and then uh, and then Mike. You know, I don't think we give enough um, enough accolades to to Mike Latessa. You know, Doctor Latessa's done a great job with this horse, and you know, and I think the linchpin of all this, the linchpin of all this was that bone scan when we found out that it was absolutely not what we thought it was. And it was absolutely not where we thought it was. Um, you know, we took away the left hind ankle issue. Sometimes they hide in there. They're called degenerative problems. It, it, it's a, a problem that in a, in a little way is is uh, bugging uh, my jazz. And it becomes a problem. Lawmaker had it. A number of good horses have it and you don't realize it. And I was certain, positive, that yes, had something brewing in that left hind ankle. We had the ultrasound on there. That's where he injured that leg. The ultrasound come back completely negative. I, the, the veterinarian was quite clear. I don't believe there's anything wrong with that left hind suspensory. Okay, perfect. So where is it? By taking him down and getting that bone scan done, um, we were left with certainty. It isn't in the left hind ankle, in the left hind limb of any kind. There's nothing that is popping. There's nothing there that is conclusively a problem with this animal. So now you have to throw everything out. Everything that I've wired into my head, I am positive it's in that left hind ankle. You're wrong. It's not. So you have to rip it all down, tear everything apart, change his equipment, change his shoes, pretend you've never seen yes before. That's what you start with. And that's what we had to get. You know, Jason and I both fell into that rhythm where, well, this is what he did at two, and this is what he did at three, and this is what we had on him, and this is how we fixed him. This is a different horse you're dealing with. This is a, a different animal with different issues. And once we stopped looking at yes and start looking at the trotter that was in front of us, you know, little by little we got him right. Changed his shoes up front and behind, made made a, sho a few shoeing changes with him. You know, that, that gate and pole on the outside actually really does help him quite a bit. Uh, I think he would have looked much different today. I scored him down a little bit and I had it over quite a bit. And he was a little rocky even then. It wasn't until I jammed it right up against him that, you know, he, um, you know, he responded. It sounds silly, but just little things like that, especially with trotters. And I could feel, I made front with him, and you could just feel him swell up. He got through that first straightaway down the back stretch of the quarter in 27-4. and four. We got to the turn, he trots the turns great. That's why he's so good on a half. 
the trots are turns great and you can feel them just swell up coming coming to the court past the quarter pole at the three eighths you know i knew i was pretty sure when i warmed him up he was a winner but i knew he was going to go a good mile at the three eighths pole and i let him you know the horse he loves he loves to be a good horse and it was extremely frustrating for him i guess extremely frustrating for us also but extremely frustrating for him. And the combination of the shoe, the shoes, you know, all the shoeing changes we made and what we culminated with, we have razor pads on him up front, and he actually has egg bars on him behind, which he never had to wear either before. That, the vet work, the vet work from, from Dr. Latessa, I think now we have a blueprint of what this, yes, needs, what he goes through, what his triggers are, where his problems are. And this, yes, is not like the old one. Might be stronger, might be better, might be faster, but he's not the same. So, um, very happy with what I saw tonight. Where do we go from here? I, I don't know. I don't. Want, I don't want to jump too far ahead. He still fits very low classes at uh, at Northfield Park, where he likes to race, where he uh, call it home for him. And um, after that, I don't know. We have anywhere we want with yes. But tonight was a huge jump forward for a horse that looked a little bit better and okay last week in 55, but to go out and just demolish a class of trotters. Now, this was the bottom class. Make no mistake, I'm very aware of that. But the way he dismantled and the way he looked, earplugs in, wrapped up, driving away 53-3, and three, he looked awesome. So it was a great feeling for me tonight. I had a great weekend with my family, capped off by a horse that we have, and oh, so much too, but, but have such a you know such a good feeling about and so so many feelings for to see him go out and race as well as he did it just it just uh, it feels great so a great night tonight from yes it wasn't a you know it wasn't a, a, a an extra um you know we didn't we didn't win any stake races with him tonight we just won a, a cheap overnight race but man oh man it felt so good so that is it i thought i'd bring you a little video a little uplifting how bring you uh, a little taste of how I feel right now. Uh, my son, Oliver, played baseball tonight in, in Ontario. Got three hits, scored two runs, and uh, I was pretty pretty proud of that. And then to see yes go out and race the way he did. Uh, just a great job all around by everybody. So great job by Jason and the vet, and uh, especially the horse. Big comeback tonight, tonight for what? Yes.